Good morning and welcome back to the Finca once again a beautiful day not a cloud in the sky it is very warm again um, we yeah, 30, 38 yesterday it's going to be 37 today that's like high 80s Fahrenheit and we've got an amber warning for the weekend. It's more than weekend. that isn't it? Um, yes we've got a Yellow, yellow warning. Yellow. 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 For uh, 38 degrees again. What's that, 104 Fahrenheit, is it? Yeah. I think, something like that. Um, Google it. Yeah. <laughs> um, so what we're doing today... Cracking on with the floor in the downstairs, Lou. Completing the jigsaw puzzle, hopefully. Yes, if we can get the main stones in, the biggest ones in yeah. place, then it's, it's a usable floor. Um, we nearly got there yesterday, but... Because it was still wet a lot, we were having to walk yeah, over it, we, we didn't want to disturb them. we walk over the ones we just put in, and so it was making it a bit um, tricky. Yeah. So we've not got much to finish off, and then we can start to finish it and fill in all the little gaps with a nice finished coat at the end. But primarily we just want to get the bulk, yeah. the bulk yeah. of the floor in, so it's at least it's safe. Yeah. <laughs> Friend friendly. Friend uh, friendly. Um, so yeah, so... Uh, no, nothing more to nothing say. Nothing really. more to report, no. At, the, mo at the moment, let's see what unfolds today. So let's crack, crack on. on. <laughs> so this is where we're up to. Um, we've just got this ravine in the middle to do, and just a little bit at the top there, just behind the loo. Um, so shall we We're only going to do half a mix um, because we think that'll be enough. We can always knock up a bit more if necessary. So let's get mixing. Right, so that, that bag of cement we used yesterday, we used about half of it. So I'm going to use just half of that and just one bag of sand and gravel. And um, we're going to load the mixer up. There's still a little bit in it actually from yesterday. And um, we're going to load the mixer up, but we need to wait because we've just put the washing machine on. It's your solar update for today. <laughs> um, while the washing machine's heating up, uh, it uses a hell of a lot of power um so it ta it takes about 20 minutes half an hour that's all and um, so once it's hit it hit that and then doing its cycle but i've no problem running this um as well so i'll get it loaded up and um yeah we'll just give it a few minutes and then get it mixing Got it wrong already. <laughs> Can't fit it in if it's like that. So a bag of sand and gravel. Where's the shovel? a bit more for good luck that should do it okay so we'll just, it's nearly there actually the washing machine so we'll just give it a few minutes now and we'll get it mixed right so we've done our mix I'm at a funny angle because I'm in a silly space um, we're going to do the back of the loo first because it's the most awkward and we put it off yesterday so we'll just throw some concrete uh, in there. Okay. It's coming along. We've got most of the center ones in place now um, yeah nearly there so it's 
fundamentally done. Um, it will look a lot better, of course, when all the little gaps are filled in. Um, final pointing up of it. Um, but for now, that's all we can do on it today. We need to let that go soft. It was very precarious. And um, we'll have to finish on with it tomorrow. But it's coming together slowly. Um, okay, so we're done with all the stones now. So that means I can get rid of this big pile of stones that's in the corner there. You can see them. Um, give us a bit more space. The other bit we've got to deal with is this front bit. Um, but we'll probably do that um, with the, the final point in, inside. We're going to build up a little stub wall underneath this and then get all that flat and nice in, in nice flat stones. Um, so, first thing I'm going to do is get rid of all this lot. And while I'm moving them, it's just occurred to me, we haven't really gone into much detail. This is the kind of thing we've been using. This is one of the smaller ones. Um, it's got a nice surface on it. This one's all dusty because it's not been cleaned. But you can see how thick they are. It's certainly a, a heavy, heavy floor. Um, yeah, I'll get them out of the way. It's just, it's just very warm again. Um, but no point delaying. The little ones moved outside. Some of these big ones here that are super heavy and I can hardly lift them. Um, I'm going to throw them up in the courtyard because sometime in the future we're going to be laying a nice um, paved patio area up there in our outdoor kitchen. And these sort of things will be absolutely perfect for that. So rather than take them outside and then have to bring them all back in again, I'm just going to take them straight up into the courtyard now. So there we are, we've got a bit more space in the corner now. Those pieces of timber and um, there to finish off the ceiling in the loom. Um, this is kind of what the place looks like now. Um, you can see from this hill um, what it was like when we first did it. Just um, a concrete plinth with a, a loo in the corner. Um, so yeah, it's come on quite a way. And we're slowly amassing um, some nice big flat stones that we can make our courtyard with. Plus all the others that are outside the door, if you remember. Um, so yeah, we're getting pretty close to having enough. And the gurgling behind me is just reminding me, the hot water tank there, um, you should be able to see that. It's hard to tell looking through a lens. It's got an overflow on the top and it keeps spewing out water, it actually boils, it, it boils in January as well, it's not just now but um, it, and every time it does it just spews a little bit of water out so I need to make like an expansion sort of stroke catch tank um, to stick, stick on the top so the water can go into that and then as it cools down it'll suck that water um, back in because we're putting like, it's not a lot but maybe 20 litres a month in there, 20 litres every three weeks or so and um, so that's another job on the list for the future they're endless so it's looking pretty good, it's drying out a bit um, I'm trying to explain things, and we don't always explain things very well but so all these joints now, they're all recessed down from the tops of the stones and um, what we're going to do, we'll fill them in, point them up with um, we said we're using the white, the white sand which makes it look exactly like the, the lime but because it's a floor you know and we're going to put resin over it anyway it doesn't matter um, all these gaps like we've got here we'll, have to, we'll put little sort of flat stones on those as well um, just like they do in the walls you know you've got your big stones and in between um, smaller ones one there for example if you can make that out you've got bigger stones there smaller ones little ones in there um, we'll do exactly the same with the floor, so it's going to be, there's not going to be big sort of joints in it, if you know what I mean. And they'll all have a, a stone where it should be. And um, it will look very nice. Um, so yeah, tomorrow um, Sharon's going to be starting on that, we think. Um, we've got some bits to do around the edges and stuff as well. Um, but yeah. We're getting there slowly with it. It takes time working with stone and things like that. There's no shortcut. There's no quick way of doing it. Um, it's probably worth mentioning as well, while we're at it, these big stones that go along the front, three big ones there, and run round under the fridge and 
there. The huge things they are. Um, they came out of the workshop. There were two big wooden rails which we've still got, um, which we're going to build a kitchen out of in the future, or perhaps we are. Um, and they were they were held the barrels, and they were sat. These stones here were upright and sort of dug into the ground. Um, so when we cleared the workshop, there's a picture of the workshop here actually. You can see them at the back, um, with all the amount of rubbish smashed up old barrels on top of them and that's what the workshop looked like in March 2019 um, a bit different than it does now so but yeah that's where these come I so we're trying to reuse everything you know there's much traditional thing we had no other use for them we thought this would be perfect because this this side was actually raised up all the way along anyway as you can tell from the um, the previous image so they were stood in vertically, the, the end two there, you can't quite see them on this. So we just extended it down, keeping it the same, using these, and when these are all filled in, yeah, it'll look pretty much the same as it did um, originally, but extended, if that makes sense. Um, I've just realised it was actually March 2020, not 2019. We didn't own the house in March 2019, we didn't buy it until May 2019. Um, but yeah, that image, that, um, when we started to put the floor down in the workshop, when we first started um, doing it. So that's about it for today, folks. We've done as much as we can do on the floor. We've got to let it dry out now. Yeah, um, it's um, possibly a slow, slow process. Slow process stone, but, working with stone. But it should look beautiful um, when it's done. And we're looking forward to seeing the end result. Yeah. Hopefully tomorrow I'll be able to get onto the pointing and filling in all the little gaps with some smaller stones. Um, but we've, we've accomplished what we wanted to, apart from the door. We haven't got that yet. No. Um, we haven't got the wood yet. Waiting on the wood still. But it is now friend friendly, yeah. um, which is fantastic. Um, so yeah, that's that's yes, it's slow progress. Um, what's for dinner tonight? We're having traditional Spanish meatballs, al bondigas, um, with a homemade tomato and basil sauce, Lovely. and fideos. Fideos is a very fine pasta that they use a lot over here. Um, they often use it in paella instead of rice. They don't call it paella, of course, but it's exactly the same with the seafood or the chicken or the. The we rabbit, love paella too. Um, <laughs> and the, the, the pasta is cooked with that in the sauce, very similar to paella. Yeah, so it's quite um, quite popular, depending on the region of Spain, um, but in our region it's quite popular. So I thought we'd have that for a change. Yes, it's a traditional Spanish cuisine which we do enjoy quite a lot. Um, yeah, we try, we try and eat as locally as possible, don't we? Yeah, we, do enjoy we, we still like our English dishes occasionally, but we do try and eat Spanish as well. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that actually, yeah, tonight. And in between times I've got to feed the cats, feed the dogs, walk the dogs, walk to the garden. <laughs> it's never ending. Get the washing in. Especially, it's still, it's still <laughs> 34 degrees. It's still What's really warm. Under, under, under Fahrenheit, I don't know, 90s. I'm oh. rubbish at this. Celsius yeah. Fahrenheit conversion. I need a little chart. Google it. <laughs> we said it this morning. They used to say double it and add 32, didn't they? It's Approximate. Five ninths <laughs> minus 32. Oh crikey. That's, yeah. I can't do conversion. that. Not today. I'm too tired. <laughs> <laughs> so, so yeah, it's it's hot. It's hot. <laughs> hot. So yeah, thank you so much to everyone for watching once again. A shorter video for you today. Less pain for you. Um. Thanks to all the subscribers. Thank you so much to all the people that supported us. Um, we'll be back same time tomorrow with another another instalment. Yes, another instalment of Life on the Thinker. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Thanks, guys. We'll see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow.